Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. Well, I finally got one. I got one of the Snap-on mini pry bars. Um, in this case, red handle with the uh, angled tip. Now this thing I've been waiting for for a long time. I mean, like longer than it's been available. Um, I did a video a long time ago where I actually made one um, using a, an old Snap-on screwdriver that had a hex, I mean a uh, square shank. And that allowed me you know, to kind of bend it in the shape, I thought, plus the um, strength of that square, which is what's used in the, the regular snap-on pry bars. But anyway, this was my my design that I wanted, maybe even a little smaller. This is what I ended up with. This is a, uh, a pretty close, I think that was a good guess. Um, when I line up the angles, when I look at the... Uh, um, the position of the bends. This one I put a magnet on. This one's got a uh, pocket clip. I decided not to go with a pocket clip or anything on that. I usually break these things off. I thought about a belt clip on here because um, that might make a little more sense, but it turns out I, I don't need that at all. Um, so what do we got with this thing? First of all, it is a lot sturdier than I thought it would be. This shaft here, uh, get out our tool to measure it is um, about four and three quarters millimeters. Um, so a you know, quarter shy of five millimeters thick. Compare that, um, say, to one of their small screwdrivers. That's 3.2. Um, their larger ones, in fact, this is real kind of interesting, similar handle, which means the, they should have a ton of these, so I don't know why these are sold out. In fact, I got the very last one. Um, for a while, it sounds like. And I looked online because I ordered them right when they came out. Um, and I'm still on back order, and it looks like it's July. So we'll see. But anyway, so this one here was four and three quarter millimeters. This here with this uh, similar handle, larger shank, um, very similar too. So I've got 4.7, so real close. Compare that to the small... Uh, uh, Gatos or Gatos, I did a review on these earlier when I got tired of waiting for the snap-on one. Um, you can see this is a much smaller shank, and I was doing kind of a flex test on it. I don't get any flex out of here. In fact, I guess that the handle would break before you would really damage this, this shaft. But anyway, this one here is roughly three. So this one, again, is almost two millimeters um, one and three quarter millimeters thicker, which is like dog millimeters, you know, when you're dealing with the volume of uh, steel in a handle like that. Um, for another comparison, some of the older, actually I could do it with a little bit newer one here. Do I have one? Well, I'll use, I'll use this. This is a, uh, one of the picks. Those go down 3.3 millimeters. Here's the Mayhew Cat's Paw. It's a little thicker. This one's about three and a half millimeters. Now, the, the reason for a smaller pry bar, obviously, you're prying smaller things. It's handy. It's narrow. Uh, yes, it looks like a screwdriver. So why don't I just use a screwdriver as a pry bar? Well, you certainly can. Um, in fact, everybody does it. Uh, but you can damage the primary use of this, which is to drive, in this case, slotted fasteners. And if you bung up the end of this thing, it transfers that mess to the screw head, or it just doesn't stay in. It impedes its actual value as a screwdriver. So this one um, you could use as a screwdriver, but its primary purpose is a pry bar. So it's a step up from the nylon ones. You know, Snap-on makes all kinds of these non-marring pry bars. They're really low, low leverage bars. This can go up to probably about the leverage you can apply with a handle that small. Um, I often use this one here. In fact, I guess it's all gunged up. I don't know what's on there. The last time I used it, covered in glue or something. But anyway, this is really handy and it felt small. This is way smaller. Um, but I use other small ones. Here is a snap-on. Read the number. What is this? The 650. This is kind of a lady's foot or a roll, rolling snap or rolling pry bar. But they're tiny one. I have these up to... You know, uh, I think I have my biggest is about 18 inches long. But this little one comes in very handy. It's just very limited because of the angle. But what it does, it does very well. Um, but this is what I was waiting for. 
and um, I've got the straight one on order. Actually, I've got several different colors and um, versions on order. Um, very well priced. I mean, even for Snap-on. Um, so I was pleased with that. I mean, they come in. I depends anywhere. I don't know between eleven and and uh, thirteen dollars, something like that. But feels like a regular traditional snap-on handle. I don't care for this. I don't know why they do that. Um, and it also made me wonder why it's on this side. Because generally you're going to be prying using this as the fulcrum, right, at that point. And that's right where you'd put your thumb for control. Um, I don't know if it was down on the other side, then it hits this. Sideways, probably. If I was going to do this, I guess I would have it if this was... It, this was your fulcrum down here. I would probably mount that at the nine o'clock position just to get it out of the way. Problem is, if it's designed for a pocket, this looks like um, it's keeping this, you know, in line but pointed away from the body. If you're using this on a, say, a shirt pocket or something, I guess, you know, using kind of the pen idea. I just, I don't think it's necessary. And then they're just stuffed in there. It's just a little bent metal wedged in. I just assume pop it out and forget about it, but. I'll get there. Anyway, so there it is. I finally got one. Looking forward to getting more. Um, is it worth the wait? Absolutely. Um, I'm probably going to relegate these now to my small electronics um, containers um, where I have uh, the things where I work on uh, phones, uh, watches, um, you know, small things where this size of a pry bar would be very handy, um, but I don't need the the, the intense strength is this, which leads me to my last point. This is a serious tool. This isn't one of those gimmicks. Sometimes you see, um, you know, bundles of snap-on pry bars, which are just look like bent old school, you know, tiny screwdrivers. This is a real tool. They put effort into it. This is uh, impressive as far as the uh, the uh, strength of this thing. Um, it's It's not a toy. You know, it's not a gimmick. It's not a souvenir that says snap on. It's a real pry bar. Um, now, I guess I'm thinking, why isn't there one in between these two? This is a pretty big leap. You know, this one comes close, but this is the only one in the world. You know, so I'm thinking maybe snap on needs just a slightly larger one as well. They could just take their same form factor and just run it up to a little bit larger screwdriver handle. Um, and then make a, a, a similar shaft. Man, that'd be a bestseller too, but it sounds like because of the back order, they're not having trouble with bestsellers. So anyway, with that, Doc out.